Hey guys and welcome back to Mobile Money Makers. Today I'm going to be doing 10 hours of Blood Rune Crafting. Now, I know I've done this video a long, long time ago, but I thought it's nice to see like a fresh set of GP rates and all of that stuff. And also, I'm going to be doing the Inferno soon and I need to get myself some Blood Runes and some money. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of these 10 hour videos in the near future. So, First things first, let's go over the gear. So gear wise, I am using full graceful. That's just to maximize the amount of run energy I'm using. I do have a dragon pickaxe and that is just for the special attack, which obviously boosts us. It doesn't actually matter too much what pickaxe you use. They all mine at the same rate, but having a slightly higher mining level does increase the amount of time the nodes last for. So skill wise, we are starting with 89 rune crafting at 5,175,942. We'll keep a little track of that and see just how much XP we're getting per hour, which will be good at the end. I do have 87 mining as well, so that might help us a little bit. But yeah, let's jump straight into the requirements. So for the requirements, now the big requirement to get there, you do need 77 rune crafting, which is very high and it does take a long time to get to 77. But once you get there, so AFK, such good money is 100% worth it. To go along with this, you do need 38 mining and 38 crafting. This is pretty easy to get hold of. It's just getting that rune crafting level, to be honest. And once you have that, you are going to be laughing. Also, along with this, you do need 100% Archaos favor. This is a little bit of a, a nightmare to get, but with rune knight, it's pretty easy to find all the books and do all that stuff. So it's, it's not too bad to get a hold of. Now, for the recommended stats. Now, I highly recommend at least 73 agility. This is to unlock two good shortcuts, which is definitely gonna speed it up massively. Along with this, it's also worth having the medium Karen diary done. This actually gives you a 5% chance of getting two dark essence when you're mining it. This will just speed it up ever so slightly. It's also worth having the elite Karen diary done because this actually gives you a 10% additional blood runes, which is gonna increase your profits massively. So here we go, ready to start. Hopefully we see a load of blood runes. Let's start that timer and I'll see you in one hour for the first price check. Okay, so we are fast approaching the first hour. In fact, yeah, we're pretty much there now. So stop the timer. Let's do our XP and price check now. So we're gonna be starting off with the skills, looking at the XP. So in rune crafting, we are now on 5,211,000. So that was an increase of uh, just over 35,000 XP in the first hour, which actually is not too bad considering just how AFK this is. I did completely forget you do get mining XP and you do get crafting XP. I didn't track it at the start, so we'll start tracking it from now. We're starting on 4,152,000 in mining. Obviously, in the next hour, we'll be able to track sort of what XP rates we're getting in that. Crafting XP, we are on 2,709,000. So, yeah, we'll obviously track that one as well on the next hour. But anyway, we're going to now check how much money we made. So let's open up our price checker and chuck in all of our blood runes. And we made a total of 563,000 GP in this first hour that is not too bad at all it looks like the price has crashed a little on blood runes i think they're they started adding more and more into the game so it's, it's sort of a little bit lower at the moment i've definitely seen it a lot higher but still 560k for something this afk i am definitely not complaining but yeah let's get back to it and i'll see you on the second hour so we are fast approaching the two hour mark let's stop the timer Let's do our check, starting obviously with our XP. So, XP wise, in rune crafting, we are now on 5,245,000. So, that was an increase of literally just under 35k. It's 34,944. Again, not too bad. Any rune crafting XP is good by me. Obviously, we can now track the mining XP. So in mining, we are now on 4,156,000. So that was an increase of 4,300. Again, not too bad. That's actually pretty good. A little bit of passive mining XP, you can't really complain. Obviously, we did get a little bit of crafting XP as well. So in crafting XP, we're now on 2,715,000. XP. So that was an increase of literally just under 6k. So 6k XP in crafting, 
4.3k in mining, it's a little bit of passive XP with some not too bad XP rates, but obviously we did make a fair bit of money, so if I chuck all of my blood runes into the price checker, that comes to a grand total of 1.1 million GP, which is not too bad, rune crafting uh, sucks, and getting a little bit of money along the way definitely helps. So uh, yeah, I'll jump back into this and I'll see you on the third hour. So we just finished up another little run. I think it's just about to hit the three hour mark now, so we'll stop the timer. And let's do our XP checks. So at the three hour mark, we're now sat at 5,285,000 runecraft. And so that was actually an increase of just under 40k. You sort of get an extra run in every now and again. So about three hour mark, you should have seen that extra run. So hopefully that should boost our money as well. But we do obviously get some mining XP. Mining, we're now on 4,160,000. So that was again an increase of just under 4.2k. Again, it's not brilliant, but it's just a little bit of passive XP, which you really can't complain at. Uh, crafting, we are now on 2,721,000. So that was actually an increase of 5.8k. So again, passive XP, can't complain. But the main thing is how much money have we made? So we will chuck all of our blood rooms into the price checker and it now comes out at 1,764,000 GP. That is not too bad at all. And yeah, I guess I'll see you at the four hour mark for our next one. So we are at the four hour mark now. Let's stop the timer a little over, but I'm not going to cry about that. And time to check our XP rates. So in runecrafting, we gained roughly around about 35, just under 35,000 XP this hour. So that sort of looks like the, the norm, what you'll be getting. And then every now and again, you'll get that extra run and that extra little bit of XP. So mining wise, we actually got 4.4 thousand XP this hour. So slightly better than the last one. Still passive XP will take that. And then crafting, we actually got an XP increase of around about 5.8K. So yeah, not too bad. And now we're gonna have a little look and see just how much money we made. So we chuck all of our blood runes in and that comes to 2 million. 286,000 GP, not bad for four hours worth of work. If you can call it work, because it's so AFK, it's barely like you're doing anything. So uh, yeah, not too bad. And I'll see you on the five hour, which is gonna be our last price check for a little while until obviously the 10 hour mark. So uh, yeah, I'll see you there. And this should be 90 room crafting coming in. Beautiful stuff, but we do have a long, 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 long Long, long way to go to 99, but we can now do soul runes, so that's pretty cool. Maybe that's another future video I can uh, try out. So we are pretty close. Well, in fact, we're now over the five hour, so the time has been stopped. Let's do our XP and price check. So in runecraft and XP, we gained, again, literally just under 35,000 XP. So yeah, about 35k an hour, it looks like. Obviously, we'll work out exactly what we got over the 10 hour period. In mining, we gained 4.2k XP this hour, and in crafting, we got ourselves 5.8k XP this hour. So again, nothing crazy, but still not too bad, and let's have a little look and see how much money we made. So the price check on the 5 hour comes to 2,748,000. Not too bad for some very AFK work. So this should be the last one, should be our last blood runes made. Not quite the full 10 hours, but honestly, I'm not going to be able to get another trip in, in like two and a half minutes. So we'll stop the timer here anyway, and obviously we're going to do our checks. So our last look at the skills and rune crafting. Over the full 10 hours, we made 366,375 XP, so that is... 36,637 XP per hour. So room crafting voice, that's actually really good. And this is a super chill way of getting that. And also the money's not too bad. We'll have a little look at that in a minute. But first off, let's have a little look at the mining. So mining wise, over the course of the full 10 hours, we were getting around about 4.2K XP per hour. So 
Nothing crazy, but a little bit of passive mining XP, which honestly is not too bad at all. Crafting XP, we actually got a little bit more of that. That averaged out around about 5.8k. So a little bit more uh, crafting than you do get mining. Still nothing crazy good, but a heavy little helps, I guess, on the big road to 99s and everything. I've still got a long, long way to go in a lot of my skills. But overall, this was not too bad. But yeah, let's have a look and see just how much money we made. So over the course of 10 hours, we did make ourselves 16,400 blood runes, which comes out to a grand total of 5,510,000 GP, which is not too bad at all. Now I'm going to go over a quick review of the whole process. So for the review, first things first, as always, we're going to be going over the profit per hour. And now the profit per hour came out at 551,000. So that is actually very, very good for the AFK rating. Now this was very, very AFK. I'm going to have to give this a 4 out of 5. There's still a little bit of running back and forth. You have to click the screen a few times and you do have to keep a little eye on when the node actually runs out and then you have to switch but apart from that it is super super afk for the mobile rating i'm gonna have to give this a five out of five this is probably one of my favorite things to do on mobile super easy you can't really go wrong maybe if you want to fast click and faster uh, craft the dark essence into the shards could be a little bit fiddly but i don't really have any issues so uh yeah overall the method is very very good the money is very good to be honest, the XP per hour is not too bad as well, considering you're getting relatively decent rune crafting XP rates and the mining and the crafting passively. It's pretty good. Overall, I'd highly recommend this. Getting 77 rune crafting is a little bit of a bitch, but yeah, when you get there, you're going to be laughing. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this review. So yeah, there we go. Not too bad. I'd say that's pretty successful. Got myself plenty of blood runes for the Inferno. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It helps the channel out massively. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.